All right, and your name, sir? I'm uh, Max Obrzeszewski, and I'm with the uh, Pledge of Resistance Baltimore. Now, Max, I understand you, you were also protesting the night about the Troy Davis case. Uh, it, it's one of the sadder ones. I've been to every execution in Maryland since they restarted the, uh, the death penalty. Starting with John Thanos, the last one was Wesley Baker. We, right now, I think we're going to eventually abolish the death penalty in Maryland. It's going to take us a little time, but we're going to do it. And every time I go to those executions, we had, we had a ceremony out there for Tim McVeigh. We, we, we actually brought a bell with us and we gonged it. I think there were 143 victims uh, at the federal building in Oklahoma City. Uh, and it just touches you, anyone losing their life for any reason. And here's a case where there's, there's little doubt in my mind that he's innocent. I mean, I'll protest the death penalty whether a guy's guilty or not. But in this case, I think he was innocent. And I cannot comprehend this legal system where seven people recant their testimony and there's not a new trial, there's not new proceedings. And, and my understanding is the real killer was uh, one of the people that testified against Troy Davis. I mean, I've listened to both of his sisters now uh, talking about their, their, their brother and the, all the hard work they did. I am so happy to read that there's going to be a boycott of the state of Georgia for this. I tried calling yesterday and I talked to other people. The phone lines were too busy. I assume thousands and thousands of people were calling. And the last message that I sent to the Georgia uh, Board of Parole and Probations, I reminded them of their sordid history. They supported slavery. They supported the idea that African Americans were not full citizens. They did not want to grant people civil rights. That's been wiped away. With this decision, it's a shame because now we're going back to the, the quote-unquote good old days. What is the purpose of this execution? I don't understand it. If there's any doubt, what's the difference of a person sits in jail for the rest of his life? Though I'm against life imprisonment, but why do you have to kill him tomorrow? I'll, I'll be one of the first to, uh, to speak out and promote this boycott. I don't know what else to do. I'm so, so disgusted with this. This is usually a anti-war vigil that we've been doing since 9-11 every Tuesday. And once I got the word, which was early this morning, that the Board of Parole said no clemency, I said, well, we have to do something. There's another demonstration tomorrow, 5 p.m. I hope to get to that as well. I know many of my friends around the, the country are, are acting, still, still hoping. This is, I believe, the fourth time that uh, Troy Davis has been given an execution warrant. So far, three times we, we were successful in preventing it. Can we do this one more time? One of the people that's speaking out for uh, Troy Davis is the former head of the FBI. I just heard that this William morning. Sessions. Yeah, I mean, it, any anybody, and, and that's what's so despicable, is the district attorney in Atlanta is refusing to do anything about this. I assume the Board of Proles, those are our political appointees. And a district attorney has sworn an oath to the Constitution. Why would not a district attorney want to say, there's no need to go forward? If, 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 if Sessions, who's not a liberal, if Sessions says there's doubt in this case, and that's not the only, the only person from that perspective that is questioned this. I mean, we have we have the Pope, uh, obviously the Pope's going to be against the death penalty, but the Pope has spoken out, and so many other people around the world. This, the whole world is watching Georgia. Why do you want this shame on your state? What 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 is the purpose? I keep asking these questions to myself, and I don't have any answers. Albert Camus, you know, the French philosopher, said that the death penalty uh, is really premeditated murder by the state. That's what it comes down to. Yeah, I've read his essay, yeah. and I have quoted from that essay in letters to legislators, etc., ca calling, you know, to abolish or repeal the death penalty. And then Tolstoy, I read this brilliant uh, biography on Tolstoy by 
Henri Troyet. I cried at the at, at the end when he's in the in the train station and he's dying. But I didn't know that Tolstoy went to Paris and he witnessed an execution when he was was inside Paris. And he wrote again another brilliant exit essay about the guillotine and all of that. And so these questions have been raised by our great philosophers, our great authors for centuries. And most of the developed world has renounced the death penalty. Yet the United States, this right wing United States is refusing to get rid of this barbaric, savage death penalty. And we know, we know who gets the death penalty. Dick Cheney is, is getting awards. His, his book is number one on the New York Times bestseller list. How many people are dead because of Dick Cheney and his decisions going back 40 years? And he's honored. He's on TV talk shows. It's the poor. It's the disenfranchised. The Africans, African Americans, the, the Latino. Those are the people who are sitting on death row with no hope. I, I, I'm just so disgusted. I'm, I, I, I'm just going to keep working. We've got to get rid of it in Maryland and around the whole country. Yeah. Archbishop Desmond Tutu said he, he thought the death penalty was all about revenge. It had nothing to do with justice. Right. Yeah. And uh, so here we are in 2011. Still doing it. Well, the, the uh, ANC, once they came to power in South Africa, the African National Congress, they abolished the death penalty. There were a number of, of, of uh, ANC people that were executed uh, during the, uh, the struggle for uh, an end to apartheid in South Africa. I'm sad, <laughs> sad to say the country that I was a Peace Corps volunteer, Botswana, has the death penalty. <laughs> I, you know, so there are pockets, but all of the developed the Western developed countries, they're all, they've are all they all abolished the death penalty. Now, Max, do you know who could stop this? The, 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 the local state's attorney, the governor in Georgia, who could do it? It's my understanding, and I'm far from an expert on, on the state of Georgia, but it's my understanding that it's out of the governor's hands. The governor appointed the uh, Board of Parole and Probations. They were to make the decision. But, is, again, I also understand that the district attorney could short-circuit this. So the appeals right now are still going. People are contacting the Board of Parole and Probation and they're contacting the district attorney uh, begging for uh, a reconsideration of the decision reached yesterday. Anything else, Max? No, it's just I urge people to uh, do what they can. He's not yet dead. It's 7 p.m. on Wednesday. We have to have hope that we can stop the madness.